to mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. I have this one with me, but if there is, uh, I'll borrow a sulfur bar from one of my good friends, my good friend James, and then I'll lather you up with sulfur to kill any sense of the thing or any steel price that you might have, or, you know, voice and check traps, I'll gas you, I'll take care of you, rub you your back, try to, uh, you know, straighten your, uh, your, uh, spinal bifida. Spinal bifida. I don't have either of these. Oh, hell, I'm just why I'm put up on my mom, I can't like the scroll is so that you can do it. It's kind of a plain moderating if you're not a stuff to get across the side. But not only by your family, but by society in general. Uh, or maybe carpet made in China. But you get what I'm saying? <laughs> you should make yourself known. <laughs> yeah. Voice chat alpha dot com, yes. Or dot co at UK. But uh yeah, so he's on a roll, you see. He's um I think um what everybody on Pale has got to realise is Mini Me is like a god. <laughs> Like that, you fucked that up. Voice chat alpha.com. You've done something. <laughs> I'm surprised you've not asked him, is he bitter yet? He's going to be bitter. You failed to ask him, was he bitter and bitter gay? But the second I would have asked him, like, just let the bitterness flow when he was talking about his sorry life and how depressed he is. Just let the bitterness flow because he's in the right place. Do you like the uh, chat room, by the way? Bitter gaze. You know, you could hear Mama and the dog licking the dog. You know, <laughs> parting her, you know, her legs and fingers. You know. <laughs> That's fucking brilliant. You can even hear <laughs> Mama and the dog licking his balls all the time. <laughs> I'm putting it all the time as well. <laughs> Unfortunately, it is, isn't it? It's true. Yeah, this is exactly the reason I haven't been on. Oh, listen to the bitter queen. <laughs> Fucking tell her this is exactly the reason I haven't been on. Tell her to let the bitterness flow. Come on, somebody. I yeah. Know, I'm you got to let the bitterness flow in this room. This is what this room's been made for. It's for the, um, it's for the bitter gaze and you know what it's like on here, exactly. So you gotta let the bitterness flow, let it all out, you know, say what you yeah. really think about people in here. <laughs> yes, yes, tell me about the reason why you become a loser. Tell me about that. Because I know that you've been in the Oh my, look at that. Why the fuck have you been stalking me, Minnie? Oh, this bitter queen is turning bitter. A true cause are coming out now, Minnie. She's been a bitter gay. Oh, you don't have to worry. I haven't been stalking anybody. The only thing I've been stalking is picking up dog shit. You know, in the, in the back of the room. Not that's dog shit, yeah. Yes, yes, Mama, you taste dog shit. You know, sometimes... You know, uh, the reason why I don't smoke cannabis anymore is is because uh, when I lived with uh, Mama and Ken, um, when Ben would poop on the on the carpet, <laughs> uh, I would actually I, I would actually eat the feces, thinking that he was a fudge brown cake. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, uh, yeah, you know, so you know, I, that's the reason why I don't smoke anymore. A fudge brown cake. <laughs> This 
This queen has no personality, does she? And her fucking mic's drying her out. Shit. I know, mate. It, 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 it's, it's, if they call it themselves... The uh, she sounds so fucking bitter, and this is the reason why I don't come on pal talk anymore. Another Aussie queen. Who gives a fuck? Let it flow. It's better. Good job I'm not on the fucking mic. That's why I'm keeping off it. <laughs> Hey surfing dude, do you eat asshole? Would you like to suck on my ass? I'd love that. Yeah? No, I don't. But thanks for the offer. I don't pass. <laughs> but but uh, I, I can say you're feeling very good. I've always found you very, um, very good. Vulgar. <laughs> that was very powerful. <laughs> yeah. I bet this queen I can... Oh, God. Look at her. Really? In what way? I'll tell you what does make sense, Serpent Dude. A big fat fist mine straight up your ass. <laughs> 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 that is no. Well, Serpent Dude, I'd love to shove my fist right up your ass. I, you're <laughs> off with your duct tape, honey. I'm going to shove my fist. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> in your dreams. Honey, when I do it, you will be in your dreams. <laughs> well, that's rude. Telling you to be ignored when you're in the room and, and, and the administrator of this room happens to be a personal friend and she tells you to ignore you? How oh, rude. I think somebody should bounce it from the room. <laughs> so why does Pika have pink color? It was to, um, well, it was for, um, breast cancer week, and, um, Power Talk was raising money, so you could get pinked up for the week, and then the money will go towards breast cancer, so... We know that's a fucking lie. Exactly, raising money my fucking asshole, probably about 20 pence ago, up to two fucking dollars out of thousands for go to cancer films. <laughs> you know where that's fucking going, that money, didn't you? That's going straight into Power Talk's back burner, as we say, down in sunny London. Yeah, that money's not going to cancer, you know what I mean? <laughs> fucking hell, I could just imagine um, they're really pulling out the straws now, aren't they? Whatever you call it, you know, pushing the boat out now. Pulling out the stops. That's it. I like that. What was shutalpha.com? Well, I mean, but not curly again. Stuff in my face at the moment, so it's a bit quiet. It's because I've got a big massive burger in my glob, so yeah. A big fucking ma asshole to match this shit it out of. Shit. <laughs> that Mark the Spark must be a listening boy, it's proper hanging around. <clears throat> probably enjoys the camp and I don't know, it's probably so it doesn't really matter does it, a bit of gay, so just probably somebody just enjoying the campus and thinking, oh this is different, which it is, isn't it? <laughs> thinking maybe the room might get shut down quicker with foot pile talk on than the mess, you know, the bit you know, uh, mess thing, like, what do you think? Because uh, especially if you're putting lots of bots and you know what on sales like and shit, you get sort of ill grass, you know what it's like. I think the room could be quite campy in paradise. I haven't spoken to you for a missed your wacky, um, Kisses. Centric, um, charming little voice of yours. Oh, sorry, big voice. Yes, uh, he gets an airplane in the unsealed room. Put the thing back up, you know, the, the amount, you know, the, you know the, about the what bitter means, I'll well, 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 stick that up, yeah. Because this room can hit off, I'm sure this will be a big fucking hit, this. This again, yeah, there's no fucking room like this. It'd be brilliant, yeah. You want fucking lights of arms sales, sniffing to parts more, you know what it's like. What you've had experience, isn't it? Okay, so how have you been? Uh, um, tell me about yourself. It's, it's been quite a while since you've been last time. That's it. Have you been struck Yes, I am single. Stretching the fucking asshole. At the moment, I'm not wishing it to anyone. Don't they all fucking say that? They all said that. You know, another nice guy at the moment. At the moment. At the moment. At the moment. Oh, fucking hell. Before they've only come through thousands. Not fucking interested in them. The loose, leaky white ass. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the bitterness about it, though. They've got to release their bitterness. Yeah. There's your fucking girls. They'll wear cans off. There you go, Paradise and Mini. Fucking trying to tease you. Same old shit, I bet.
Yeah. You do know she has. She's in on sales room uh, a minute, mate. She had. She had fucking hats in on sales room. She did the last time I was. I don't know if it's really joyous. I'm both for luck at the moment, but uh, I didn't get much sleep last night, and then I had to go to um, the job centre. <laughs> you're not going to lie, it's a year, eh? And, uh, yeah, I'm going to look like myself. Yeah, exactly. She's on a bitter fucking work programme. She's been forced into fucking work while she gets her benefits cut. Fucking good on her. The fucking lazy asshole. Oh, I don't feel good. Who gives a fuck that she's been forced to get a job? She'll end up cleaning the streets, you know, for the door money. I'll tell you. Might affect your money. Like, if you do not come to your meetings because it's not your pay, if you do not kiss my ass, <laughs> we will stop your pay. I was like, for fuck's sake. Many me, why don't you ask her, why can't she get, just ask her, just say, is there no jobs going, can you not, like, sweep the streets or something? There must be some jobs in the UK, go on, give it that, because she can do something. <laughs> I think that, uh, uh, I'd like to tell everybody since I'm such a bitter gay, I just took a nice juicy shit. Yeah, there's too much niceness in bitter gays and the too much niceness. Hello, <laughs> buddy. After 30 years old? Ask him how on sales room is doing. He's yeah, not. He's not. He's, 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 he's not a good example of a fucking person from this country at all, is he? No, he's a fucking wanker. Well, he has actually a typical scrubber. Uh, low life, fucking lazy bastard, fucking pretentious show off bastard. Just show off his little Yeah, ask about something in the ring. Well, you've got some things you're doing. Like, ask about how's Amsterdam sales going? Are you going to I haven't spoken to Amsterdam in one time. I wonder where, um, whatever happened to crazy, uh, coffee yet? Yeah. I haven't seen crazy coffee in a long time. Do you Come on, me ask the question. This is what it's happening. Yeah, I'm happy. If, you, if you're a bit frightened of uh, asking him that question, I believe you have a hat, frightened, of course. Just ask him, I say, how, how is it fit, uh, uh, what's it like to be an admin for on sale? I'll ask one. I'll ask. Yeah, I love a good bitch. And, um, and the girls are very nice and she's just like, oh, Mr. Gaylord. Can you hear that? You see, Porsche has risen unlimited now, you see. You know, some people like to use the phone. It's not a fucking three-way mic, it's a fucking hundred-way mic, you see. Yeah, I'm an admin in a three-way mic, you see. Oh, interesting, you proud ass, you fucking know damn well about that. You know where he was up kissing your ass, showing his camera, trying to fucking tease you and mini me. He's not about boy shout, obviously. For how many months, six, seven months, he never bothered, did he? He couldn't give a shit. Oh, man, it's some fucking crap at scares. Because he's dead, pal, talks back to You know what it's like. Fucking bitter gay. But yeah, he did, on sale, did steal gays from me. I still got gays. Yeah. In his room. Yeah. Tucked away some gays. I remember you. Hi, guys. Oh, yes, a mwah party. Goodbye, darling. Sleep tight. Thank you, Minnie, for the suggestion and the fiber to make my shit <laughs> fly <laughs> way out. Oh, you, you took care of parking on my sister, and of course you changed the oh, top. Oh, even you, even you, even you, <laughs> even you, 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 until you get my, my age, darling, when you hit 53, you got to eat a lot of fiber or you'll be constipated. Yeah. You then that uh, parking. I said, how old are you? How old are you? Oh, I'm 53. Been in the same relationship now since 1995. Me and my lover have been together. Um, so it's been 18 years we've been together. We're like an old married couple already. Oh, that's sweet. No, I do like when gay relations do work, you know. Sometimes they work anyway. Not very often, but it's nice to see that it does actually work, you know. You'd be surprised. I've got a lot of friends that have been in relationships for many years. Well, the longest relationship I ever had was about three years. That's it. I think the big thing about relationship is this. If 
you're a gay person, is that you gotta be you gotta find somebody that's looking for the same things you are. If you don't find somebody that's looking for the same things you are, then the relationship won't last. Well, the last person I dated and I made a foolish mistake, I said to myself I wouldn't date someone who was younger than me, but I did anyway, and um, he turned out to be out, out, of, out of control, and, um, you know, he was like, he had a big massive ego, and it was like, oh, it's great to be young, all the men want me, and then he started talking about all my friends and stuff, and said, oh, I... I've had sex with him, I've had sex with him and stuff, and I just thought, you know what, I'm better than this, and I don't need you, so I just told him straight, I said, I'm not interested, man. Okay, so you got to find somebody with the same interests that you have, and then if you do that, you'll, you might have a long relationship like I have with other people that I have. Well, I have been talking to this guy, and um, he's really sweet, and... Um, we both got a lot of things in common. We was talking online on I don't know if you know WhatsApp, you know, unemployed thing. And um, for the past few weeks now, we've been like speaking for hours and hours. And um, at first, we was like unsure about each other, but they seemed to be getting a bit more closer. Closer. I find it strife like, boring. I'm not fucking with him. He's fucking life and things that he does and his job and. Like, I'm into gardening, he's into gardening, and um, he's like, he likes his horror yeah, films, and I like my horror films, and we just seem to like, <laughs> get on so well. Sorry? And I, I always seem to smile when he, like, said the next message. And uh, I told him we're going to arrange something, like, we should, like, I told him we're going to try and meet up one of the days, go for a drink, and then take I know what I'm going to say about this lot. And he's, uh, he's a really nice guy. Yeah, what's the coming out like now? You you can't you should get out there and let her have it and say I actually think that any of us really care about any of this. Oh no, I'll clear out the fucking room and if I get on the mic I'm gonna keep it off it. You know, he's a nice guy, I'm drinking my protein drink and uh, typing. Right, is he talking on the mic to himself still in the other room? No, I typed in the room, thanks, you'll find it funny because he said he was going to add the room to his favourites. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I like it if the boy shut off and say, Do you mean alcoholic or do you mean um, like a coffee? I don't <laughs> coffee. It isn't it? Um, when as my muscles have sort of gone down, my dick's got bigger. I don't understand it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you're kind of excited. Jesus, I'll fuck your laugh. It seems that your muscles gone down and your your dick's gone bigger. Should it be like the way around? Like, you should, like if you're gaining muscles and you're losing weight, then surely your dick will get bigger. It's, oh fuck! I don't know. It's <laughs> <laughs> I always do, sorry, uh, yeah, no, I don't know, I, I don't know what's going on anymore, it must be the hormones or something, but uh, it's all back to front now. <laughs> your age. Well, that was a close one. I don't mind about that, don't you? Well, well, as long as you don't grow breasts, you, you, you'd be fine. At <laughs> I'm not stepping up on the bottom. Yeah. Like you. So what's this geezer you're talking about then, is he like, um, on Power Talk, is he, or something, you're chatting up? Bitch. <laughs> um, no, actually, he was, um, I'm trying to think then, blimey, um, oh God, you're going to, you're going to criticise me now, um, he was off fit lads, and he's not like a whore, or nothing like that, you know, you do is the one decent, or two decent guys on fit lads, but, um, yeah, he's off there, and he, he lives, um, near Birmingham, so I'm pretty much close to him, you know. And uh, he works in a retail shop. You know, good looks aren't uh, anything, trust me. I mean, I'm extremely good looking and I'm an asshole. So, I mean, it, it does seem to... <laughs> <laughs> it does seem to be like that uh, for some reason. I mean, uh, back when I was a, uh, a gay... Now, I'm, I'm, we're a, well, a I'm a bitter gay now, but like back in the day when I was just a gay, an alcoholic... <laughs> 
um, you know, I used to prance around and uh, I used to teach these guys a lesson, you know, it was like a game to, uh, to me because, um, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it sounds good, so, <laughs> I lost my tracks there, it does sound good. It's does... extremely good looking. Yeah. Paradise. I'll click on my camera and I'll show you the picture. Okay. Oh, please. Okay. Oh, yeah. I've only got five, well, three seconds. Tell me when you've got it up and I'll have a look. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's done that, has he, on his webcam? <laughs> Christ. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see, yeah. Where's he from? Birmingham? Birmingham? Look at this book. Fucking parcel crashes. Fucking useless. Sorry, that's my other chat client. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, I'm seeing the modem, yes. <laughs> yeah, fucking things crash. Fucking useless power talk. It's a fucking crappiest piece of junk I've ever seen. I'm going to leave it off now. So I'll, uh, I'll stay in here. I'll be back in a bit. I'll be back in an hour or so. Alright, okay. It's one o'clock already. Fuck. 